Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing looks like. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you what a real Burberry shirt looks like. So let's get into it. So first things first, let's take a look at the retail tag. So it's a tan cardstock tag. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, but not really, it's mostly just cardboard. And then you've got embossed gold Burberry right there in that big bold Burberry font. Take a look at the tails on the R's right there because that's always a big giveaway. Make sure it's always gonna have those tails on the R's. And then in cursive, you've got London, comma, England. When you open it up, you can see the embossed logo coming through there and you can feel that again, but otherwise there's nothing there. Nothing on this side here, except you can see some more embossed stuff coming through because when we turn to the back, we've got more gold embossed stuff. You've got two crests here, and then you've got by appointment of the Queen Elizabeth in Weatherproofers Burberry Limited London. Another one about the Prince of Wales. Very interesting. And inside that tag, you've got some white cardstock, nothing on the back, but on the front, you've actually got some stuff about their trademarks because you've got the sort of equestrian knight in the middle, and then you've got their Nova check and house check on either end there. And it talks about the Burberry, Burberry's, the knight, the check, they're all trademarks of that brand. Over here, you've got your model number, your color, and then your size in various sort of international versions. You've got a barcode, and at the bottom you've got MSRP, suggested retail price, and you can see that this has a kind of perforation here at the bottom. And that is attached by a string that also has Burberry logo on it, and again you can see the tails coming through on those R's there. It's gonna be everywhere you look. Moving on to the brand tag at the back of the neck, it is a tan tag, and it is rectangular, and it is stitched in on all four sides with single clean stitches. Burberry, look at that typeface, look at the sort of rat tails on the R, and again, that script London, England, just like on the retail tag. And then further up on the neck, you have your fabrication where it was made, as well as your size. And these are both folded over tags. The country one is smaller, and the size is bigger. The inside of those, as you can see, is black. And then you fold it over, and you've got your Chinese sizing, I believe that is. And it's nearly impossible to pick up on camera, but those buttons do have the Burberry logo in them, pressed into them, and the R's also have the tails, just like everywhere else. Pretty much every Burberry piece of clothing is gonna have those branded buttons, so look out for that. Now moving on to the fabric tags. Interestingly, in this case, because it is a button-down shirt, they do give you an extra button, and it is in a branded bag there, which I think is very cool. It's just a Ziploc bag there. And that is attached to the brand tag, which you can see is stitched in with actually two white stitches across there. And at the very top under that stitch, it says page one. And you've got that logo. You've got where it was made in very various languages. And you've got fabrication. And this is on a tan sort of gold satin tag, fairly thick tag, hard to kind of bend a little bit sort of tough. It almost feels like it would stay, yep, kind of folded there if I tried to fold it over. Let me turn this over. We've got washing instructions. And I think that's a continuation of the washing instructions. And on the back of that, you've got sort of trademark information, address, stuff like that. And you've got that model number down at the very bottom. And then under that, on a sort of smaller tag, you've got one talking about the fact that it contains non-textile parts of animal origin, and that's in various languages. And on the back of that one, you have that same message in more languages right there. So that is how you tell the difference between a real and a fake Burberry shirt. Watch one of these other videos that's up on screen here, subscribe if you like it, and I will see you next time.